In this tutorial, I will teach you step by step how to create this 3D cone in Blender. Even if you are a complete beginner, you can most likely follow it because everything is explained in detail. You will learn how to extrude, move and scale objects. Additionally, you will understand what bevel is and what it is for, as well as how to duplicate objects. In the end, you will also gain some knowledge about lighting and texturing. Are you ready? Ok, let's go then! Click A to select everything on the scene and click X to delete it. Now, because we will make a 3D cone and the most similar basic shape to a cone is a cylinder, go to Add, Mesh, Cylinder. You can see in the left corner the additional menu Add Cylinder. Here we can change the number of vertices, radios and more. We will change the number of vertices from 32 to 20 because we don't need that much geometry and we need something that can be easily divided by 5. Now select the cone and switch to edit mode with tab so we can add and edit some geometry. Switch from selecting vertices to selecting faces with 3. We are doing this only to make it easier to select parts in this case. As you can see, it is much easier to select only one face instead of selecting each vertex. We are making a cone, so we need to add some height. To do that, select the top face with left mouse button and move it up along the Z axis with G plus Z. Because the cone is wider at the bottom and narrower at the top, we will click S to scale it. We will select the bottom face as well and scale it a bit with S, so our cone will look better. Now, if you click Ctrl plus R, a new loop cut will appear. When you click left mouse button, you can move that loop along the whole cone with the mouse while moving it up and down. We need a loop cut, so we can extrude the bottom part without destroying the upper part. So that loop cut is working as a separator between faces. Add a loop cut with Ctrl plus R near the bottom, move it with the mouse, and confirm its position with left mouse button. Switch from selecting edges to selecting faces with 3 because we need to extrude those faces. Now hold Alt and click left mouse button on some edge between those two loops. If you click on the face instead, you won't select that part that you need. Now click Alt plus E and choose to extrude faces along normals and move your mouse up to extrude it outward or down to extrude it inward. With this, we add more geometry for the base of our cone. Select the whole cone with A and rotate it along the z-axis with R plus Z by 45 degrees by typing R plus Z and then 45. Confirm it with enter. We are rotating it this way so that we can align the faces of the bottom with the world coordinates. Now select those faces with Alt plus left mouse button as we did previously. Click S plus Z plus 0 to scale it along the Z axis. Do the same with the bottom face. Select this face with left mouse button and do, then move your mouse pointer to the face that you want, in this case fifth and click CTRL to select all from 1st to 5th. We will scale them again, but this time with S plus Y plus 0, since we want to align them with Y axis. We will now do the same thing for the next part. This time we want to align them with X axis. To better understand it, this would happen if you scale it with S plus Y plus 0, and this if you scale it with S plus Z plus Y. So scaling with, with S plus X plus 0 is the right choice now. We will now do the same for the remaining sides of the cone. After you finish it, you will realize that two sides you were scaling with S plus Y plus 0 and the other two sides with S plus X plus 0. I hope you have now a better understanding of how axis and scaling work. 
If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments of this video. Okay, let's continue, we are almost done. Now we will switch from selecting faces to selecting vertices with one. This time selecting vertices is what we need for our next step, which is called bevel. With left mouse button, select those two vertices. And to rotate the scene without unselecting them, use the mouse wheel, but press it and hold it. If you rot rotate it, you will change your view from far to close and vice versa. Now, while holding shift, select the other two vertices. To rotate the scene again, release shift and press the mouse wheel. Do the same again two more times. Click Ctrl plus B to round the edges. Most things in the real world aren't perfectly sharp, so we use bevel to make our models more realistic. To add even more geometry to the bevel, scroll the mouse wheel. In this case, we will add three more loops. Now switch to Edge Select with 2 and select this edge with Alt plus left mouse button. Click Ctrl plus B and add some geometry here as well. Select this edge as well and add some bevel to that part too. Switch to the object mode with tab. Click the right mouse button and choose shade auto smooth. This is used to visually get rid of sharp corners based on the angle wherever they are not needed. Switch back to edit mode with tab. Switch to selecting faces with three. Choose this top face with left mouse button and click I to insert, to insert a new face. Now we need to turn on X-ray mode so we can see all geometry inside and out. You can turn it on by cl clicking here or pressing Alt plus Z. Same way to turn it off. We will now extrude that uh, selected face with E inside the cone and scale it a bit with S. We can now turn off X-ray mode. We will add more loop cuts to mark where we will add the secondary material. To do that, press Ctrl plus R, scroll the mouse wheel four times because we need four loops this time. And confirm it with left mouse button. Now you can still move them, but we want these loop cuts to be centered, so click right mouse button to keep it centered. Now switch again to the object mode with tab. Until now we have been in solid mode. Now we will switch to the render mode, so we can add lights and materials and actually see how our cone looks with proper lighting. Now go to render properties and switch from render engine from EV to cycles. Also, if you have a good graphics card, you can switch from CPU to GPU. Turn on the viewport denoise to get rid of the noise and make things easier for the eyes. Now add light area. Move it up with G plus Z above the cone. Select the light and go to Object Properties. Object Data Properties. Switch power from 10 to 1000. You can move the area light a bit more up if necessary. Duplicate the area light with Shift plus D and move it along Y axis. Click on this little yellow circle on light and move it with left mouse button to point, to point it at the cone. Duplicate this light as well with Shift plus D and move it along the Y axis and move again that yellow circle to point it at the cone. Select the cone. Click on the material and click New. Change the base color to orange. Add one more material by clicking on this plus. Switch to Edit Mode with Tab. Switch to Selecting Faces with 3. 
Choose these two faces with Alt plus left mouse button while holding the Shift. Select the second material and click Assign, then a New. Change Switch Metallic from 0 to 1 and increase the roughness a bit so that the material looks a bit less shiny. Switch back to Object Mode with Tab. If you are satisfied with it, now go to Add and Camera. Click N to open a new sidebar menu. Go to View and go turn on to the camera to view. Click Ctrl plus Alt plus 0 on numpad to align the active camera to view. If you are on the laptop, then go to View Align View and Align Active Camera to View. Now you can adjust view far or close by scrolling up or down the mouse wheel and rotating the view while pressing the mouse wheel and moving the mouse left or right. If you want to move the whole camera, hold Shift and press the mouse wheel while moving the mouse up or down. Or you can do it even more easily by pressing and holding this hand while moving the mouse. When you are satisfied with it, click Render and render the image. That is it. Now you know how to model a cone in Blender. If you enjoyed learning Blender with me, consider subscribing to my YouTube channel. Bye! See you next time!